Hi, in this video we are going to discuss how to calculate gain or loss when non-current assets are sold. Another name for sale of non-current asset is disposal of non-current asset. Though I have uploaded three videos so far on depreciation, one on calculating depreciation from different methods, one on the IA16 revaluation, and one on main difference between straight line and declining balance method. But in this video, I'm going to discuss how to calculate gain or loss when you sell your non-current assets. So here there is one question. It says cost of the asset is 140,000. Date of purchase, very, very important. It's purchased on January 1st, 2015. Salvage value is 140,000. The year ends on December 31st each year. Method use is declining balance method at 20% date of disposal very very important you are selling it on january 1st 2018 how much you're selling it for sale proceed means when you sell the asset how much money did you get you got twenty thousand that means you sold your asset for twenty thousand calculate gain or loss on disposal entry to record gain or loss now in the first step what we are going to do is we are going to calculate depreciation using declining balance method from the date of purchase right up till the date of disposal so in declining balance method most of the time a percentage is given so what i'm going to do here is i'm making a table here which is uh, kind of advisable so this is the table how it looks like you have here date computation depreciation expense means the current year depreciation accumulated depreciation means total depreciation and net book value means value after depreciation so the very first step we have to do is we have to write here the date of purchase which is 2015 january 1st when you write the date of purchase, immediately write cost of machine in the last column here, which is 140,000. So on the date of purchase, the cost and the net book value is the same because there is no depreciation. So the year ends on December 31st each year. That means the company calculates depreciation on this date. So December 31st, 2015. From January to December, it's one year. Under declining balance method, 20% means 20 upon 100 multiply by this 140,000. So 20% of this would be 28,000. So when you minus 28 from 140, you will get 112,000. Next year, the year ends on December 31st, 2016. 20% is going to be the same. 20 upon 100 but now it will be for 112,000 so when you take out 20 percent of this would be 22,400 this is the current year depreciation 22,400 add these two and put over here 22,400 plus 28,000 that's how you get accumulated depreciation which is 50,400 now this 50,400 will be subtracted from 140. You will get 89,600. And then the next year is December 31st, 2017. So December to December is again one year. 20% means 20 upon 100 into 89,600. So 20% of this would be 17,920. Add these two. 17,920 plus 50,400 will give you 68,320. Subtract from 140 on top. You will get 71,680. Now here you got to be very careful. Look, the date of disposal. When are we selling our non-current assets? We are selling it on January 1st, 2018. You have to calculate depreciation from the date of purchase, which is January 1st, 2015, right up till a day before this. A day before January 1st, 2018 will be December 31st, 2017. So you got to stop calculating depreciation at this point. 
Once you have calculated depreciation from the date of purchase right up till the date of sale which is disposal, now you are able to do the calculation of gain or loss. So it is gain oblique loss on disposal. Disposal means sale. So you start off with cost of machine. So your cost of machine is 140,000 here. So just write 140,000. Less accumulated depreciation till date of disposal. So this is your accumulated depreciation till date of disposal means till a day before disposal which is 68,320. You subtract you will get net book value. So 140 minus 60, 140 minus 60 is 71,680. The last step you look at the proceeds from sale. How much you sold your machine for? So I'm writing here less proceeds from sale means the asset which you purchased for 140,000 it has been depreciated by 68,000 something and the net book value after depreciation is 71,000 and the machine which has a net book value of 71,680 you are just selling it for 20,000 so proceeds from sale is 20,000 so when you minus you get 51,680 as your loss on disposal now why it is a loss it is very clear see the net book value before sale is 71,000 net book value means the value of the machine as per our calculation the value of the machine is 71,000 a machine which is worth 71,000 you are selling it for 20,000 obviously you're making a loss once you have made a loss you have to record an entry so the entry will be dated like uh, at the date of disposal which is on 2018 January 1st please remember when you are recording gain or loss on disposal you have to take all the amounts from here nothing from anywhere else so first of all think what is happening you are selling the machine you are getting cash so how much cash are you getting cash debit you are getting this amount isn't it 20,000 As a matter of rule, the main principle, whenever an asset is sold, its related accumulated depreciation is closed. By default, accumulated depreciation has a credit balance. To close it, we debit. Accumulated depreciation debit, by how much? This is the amount of accumulated depreciation. 68,320. So whenever you are selling an asset, you are receiving some money, you debit cash or bank with that amount. If you are selling an asset, the associated accumulated depreciation has to be closed. In order to close, you have to debit accumulated depreciation. Now, if there is a loss, all losses are recorded as a debit. So loss on disposal will be debited, which is 51,000. 680 and then what is happening when you buy machine this machine which you purchased when you purchase this machine you would have debited machine by 140 now the machine is going out you credit the machine account with 140,000 this is how you record a loss on sale of machine now please understand there are certain things in this entry which has a fixed place whether there is a gain or a loss you got to debit them or you got to credit them like cash will always be debited whether there is a gain or loss and it will be debited by the amount you are selling it for the sale proceeds accumulated depreciation will always be debited whether you have a gain or you have a loss it will always be debited by what amount by this amount or by this amount which you have taken it's the same so cash and accumulated depreciation will always be debited come what may but the amount will be different obviously and this machine the cost of the machine you see original cost of the machine will be credited 
So what are the fixed entries? Cash will always be debited, whether there is a gain or loss, cash will be debited with the sale proceeds. Accumulated depreciation will be debited with the total depreciation calculated so far. And the asset, whether it is machine, motor vehicle, building, land, will be credited with their cost. The only difference is, if there is a loss, it will be debited. If there is a gain, it will be credited. So let me create a situation here. What if we are selling the machine not for 20, but we are selling it for 100,000? If I do this calculation here, I start with cost of machine, 140,000. Okay, less accumulated depreciation, the same, 68,000, 320. So I will get book value. Net book value or book value, 71,680. Now we are talking about what if we are not selling it for 20, but we are selling it for 100,000. If you're selling it for 100,000, your sale proceeds here will be 100,000. So now you can see that the machine which has a book value of 71,680, you are selling it for 100,000. So if your sale proceeds are more than book value, you end up making a gain which is gain on disposal or gain on sale. How much? So you subtract 71,680 from 100,000. So here there is no need to look at the negative sign or something. You have to look at the concept. The concept is the machine was worth 71,000 when it was being sold, but it was sold for 100,000. So you make a gain of 28,320. If that is this is the case, what would be the double entry? The double entry would be, if there is less space, I'm just writing here, you debit cash with the amount you are selling it for 100,000. As I told you, look, cash is always debited with the sales proceed. You will debit accumulated depreciation, okay, 68,000, 320. But you will not debit loss because we have a gain. In case of gain, you will credit gain, gain on disposal which is 28,320 and you will credit the machine, the asset. You credit machine with 140. Now what happens when you add these two and you add these two, it should be the same. When you add these three and this, it should be the same. So you can check this. 100 and this is 168,320. 140 and 28 is 168,320. When you add this 20, 68 and 51, it comes to 140. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how we record gain or loss on disposal. Let me give you a quick recap. All you have to do is you have to look at when the machine is purchased and when it is being disposed. So from the date of purchase, right up till the date of disposal, you have to calculate depreciation. Keeping in mind fractional depreciation. This was a simple example because you're buying on January 1st and the year is ending on December 31st. If the year was ending on June, you would have taken 6 upon 12 here. Okay? Because you will not calculate depreciation on December, you will calculate on June. But this was a straight uh, simple example that you're buying on January 1st, year is ending on December, January to December is one year, one year depreciation is this. So we calculated for December 2015, 16 and 17. Why not after December 17? Because the very next day we are selling the machine. Okay? So what you do is you calculate depreciation, start with cost of machine, minus accumulated depreciation, get the net book value and compare this with the sale proceeds. So if your sale proceeds are less than the book value, you're making a loss. If your sale proceeds are more than the book value, you're making a gain. When recording the entry, please note cash will always be debited with the sale proceeds. Accumulated depreciation will always be debited with the amount which you have here. Machine will always be credited because we are selling with the cost. The only different item is if there is a loss, you're going to debit. So in case of loss, you will have one, two and three debits and just one credit. In case of gain, you will have cash debit, accumulated depreciation debit, machine credit. Okay, but you also have a gain credit. So two debits and two credits. I hope you have understood this topic. 
as I told you, I've already uploaded three videos on depreciation, but they are on different topics. I forgot to explain gain or loss on disposal, which I've covered in this video. So if you have any queries relating to this calculation, please leave a comment. I will uh, respond to that. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, press the bell notification button so that you get my videos on a timely basis. If you like this video, please share it with your dear and near ones so that others can also benefit. Thank you so very much for your precious time. Love you all.